And good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elias Johnson. It's one of the great unsolved mysteries of the art world, and our cameras were the only ones allowed inside before it was put on display right here in Reno. Marissa Schwartz has the exclusive story you'll only see right here on News 4. You don't need a degree in art history to recognize his name, Vincent Van Gogh. He's one of the most well-known artists of the 20th century. His paintings are valued in the millions and have been displayed front and center at the world's most prestigious museums. But why did one of those paintings never make it to the walls of the Louvre? Well, the painting comes with an amazing story to tell. The painting, known as Study by Candlelight, was purchased in the 1950s by award-winning Hollywood producer William Getz. Getz was told the painting was real, but art historians disagreed. It has a very strange history of being called a real Van Gogh, then not a real Van Gogh, then a real Van Gogh, then a not real Van Gogh. Hank Tromp, an anthropologist from the Netherlands, spent the better part of the last decade researching past debates around some of Van Gogh's paintings. Its authenticity has been debated for years, but a conclusion has never been reached. Myth has it that the owner destroyed this particular painting in rage because he couldn't find enough experts to uh, substantiate his claim. For years, the whereabouts of the painting were unknown until now. Our cameras were the only ones allowed inside the Nevada Museum of Art as the painting was hung for the first time. The heirs of the Getz family approached the museum and our director David Walker about a year ago, um, basically with a long unsolved mystery. Using x-ray, infrared and high-tech pigment analysis, the Nevada Museum of Art hopes to learn more about study by candlelight. So what if it is real? It's a Van Gogh. It's worth millions and millions of dollars. And if it's an imposter? It has no value at all. So is the painting real or fake? Well, that's a mystery that may never be solved. In Reno, Marissa Schwartz, News 4. All right, thanks, Marissa. It looks expensive. If you'd like to take a look at Study by Candlelight and judge the painting for yourself, it will be on display at the Nevada Museum of Art starting Saturday. And you got plenty of time. It goes until the end of August. For more information, you can head over to our website, mynews4.com.